the corner of radio live with Barzini. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Shout out to my co-host, Box and I. Yo, Terrence Crawford versus Kell Brook. These two f- fighters, man, I really enjoy watching. Uh, I've been watching them for a long time, and I really want to see these guys fight each other. I think they both in a, a space right now where they need each other. And and the reason why I say that is I don't see Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao fighting Terrence Crawford. Even even Kell Brook. You know, Kell Brook already beat Sean Porter, but the other three, Danny Thurman and Manny Pacquiao and Earl, and Earl Spence, even he fought Earl Spence too, he um and Earl Spence ain't gonna fight Crawford right now. So I think in this space right now, I think Kelbrook is Crawford's best opponent and will be probably be his best opponent on his resume as well. I think Kelbrook can maybe beat all the guys Terrence Crawford has faced, but he still has to prove it. I think the only um debatable fight I think Kell Brook would have had would would be with Jeff Horn. But fights from that, I saw the video with sister, um, Terrence Crawford's sister and Kell Brook going at it, which, um, you know, she's praising her brother and all that, you know, but I don't think she had to be that harsh on Kell Brook. I, I don't think that was called for. Just say, yo, I, I can't wait to see my brother beat your ass, whatever the case might be. But anyways, I really love this fight. I think this fight could be a war. I think this fight can also be a fight of the year candidate. The best fight on ESPN. Um, If they have this on pay-per-view, I'm not going to be surprised because at this point, for them to pay Kell Brook the money that he wants, it will have to be pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I don't see this being on ESPN Plus. I, I'd, be, I'd be surprised if it'd be on ESPN or ESPN Plus. The money Kell Brook going to want is going to be so uh, such a huge bag that they're going to have to put it on pay-per-view to recoup for the money. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know Kell Brook wants it, he's calling out Terrence Crawford, he's still going to want a bag at the end of the day. You know what I mean? They ain't fighting for free, and they ain't fighting for peanuts, you know. But let's go into the fight itself, man. I feel like Kell Brook possibly might go 12 rounds with Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford is going to try to outdo Earl Spence. Maybe that's what he might probably think. Like, I'm going to finish him off quicker. I'm going to get the job done better than um, Earl Spence did. And I think Kell Brook's plan is, I'm going to show him, yo, this is a different level when you're fighting the big boys. You know what I mean? You're fighting a real welterweight, and Kell Brook wants to regain back on top. You know, fans ain't been really thinking very highly of him as is late. But I think this is a fight Kell Brook can redeem himself, man. Um. I'm not going to be mad at either guy, whoever wins and whoever loses. You know what I'm saying? I really want the both of them to win. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, one person got to win. And I feel like Kell Brook is going to give Terrence Crawford the fight. But every time I say Terrence Crawford is going to get a fight, a real fight, and it's going to be competitive... He ends up proving us all wrong. Every time. Every time I'm thinking this man is going to have a competitive fight, he makes it so easy. It's like, damn, this man is so fucking talented, so fucking good. But I, I really, I still believe in Kell Brook. I feel like he can do things. And I don't feel like Terrence Crawford just going to walk through him. Nah, not that big guy. You know what I'm saying? Kell Brook can really fight. You know what I mean? People can bring up his two broken eye sockets all they want. That nigga can fight no matter what. You know what I'm saying? 
and he's stronger than Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford just got more dog than him. You know what I mean? But I feel like hell, if Earl Spence, if he can go 11 rounds with Earl Spence, I think he can go 12 with Crawford because Earl Spence is the bigger puncher. You know what I'm saying? So I really believe that. Um, and I just really think this is going to be a total war. I know, Earl, I know Terrence Crawford should win this fight. You know what I mean? I just think Terrence Crawford is just... Just such a superior fighter at this point in his career, but I think, I think this might give Crawford a good name on his resume, and also people will probably start wanting to fight him after the Kell Brook fight. He got American, he got Jeff Horn, he got Kell Brook. I think at this point he will get better opponents next after this. You know what I'm saying? I really think. You know what I mean? If in a in a good world of Terence Crawford, he should have got Kell Brook, Jesse Vargas, and then finally get one of these elite PBC fighters, whether it's Keith Thurman or Earl Spence. But like, subscribe, comment. Um, I can't wait to see this fight. Um, shout out to my my mate, um, Kell Brook's new trainer, John Fuchs, man. I know John Fuchs want to go to New York. He's been pushing for New York. He wants a New York fight. He's getting Kell Brook ready. I can't wait.